Let's be honest, the market is quite boring and moving sideways. And during these times, I like to inject a little bit of hopium because right now is when most of the investors will start to lose focus. Now, before we get into the little tricks that I do to give myself a little bit of a brevity of the situation, let me just say that, yes, on this channel, I've been quite bearish. And I think with good reason, most people will agree with me that the market has been quite boring and not really doing too much. And I don't see a major massive upside move happening anytime soon. And these are the things I'm doing just to kind of keep my sanity. So first things first, let's just take a look at even though we are in this, this sideways market, we'll have some great stories that will come out, like the curve hack that just happened uh, not too long ago where $61 million was actually lost. Some was actually uh, recovered already, but it looks like uh, the hacker uh, himself or herself from themselves are giving a portion of that back. Hopefully they make everybody whole. That would be fantastic. Also, Coinbase is pushing to dismiss the SEC lawsuit. And they said, even if we don't get this dismissed, we will win this case outright. Positive. Also, Board Ape Yacht Club from Yuga Labs looks like they are hiring a pretty decent salary, I'll be honest with you, $90,000, $25,000 per year. And you can work remotely. And this is like minimal experience. I will link this in the description if you're looking for a job in Web3. Wouldn't be too bad for some people out there. And then also stuff like this, Amazon partnering up with Polygon. And they're giving away mass amount of NFTs to their 200 million prime subscribers, which will be pushing people to Web3 as well. And also Binance just uh, shot up 30 million users over the last year to get 150 million registered users. And of course, this is all great news. And what does the market do? Not a thing. And as a matter of fact, if we can see it here, I mean, Bitcoin is flat. Ethereum down. Tether's tether. Binance Coin up a little bit, probably because of that news. Uh, Stake Teeth, I'm sure. Doge is up a little bit, Salon up a little bit. But you can just see that across the board, it's not anything to write home about. Shiba Inu up 5%, wow. But you can just see that it's pretty flat and boring. So during these times, this is when I try to just say, okay, what is the big picture? Let me zoom out and see where we're actually going. And to do that, I use this little Hopium cheat sheet. And you can make this sheet very simply. You can use, and if you have a Mac, it's Numbers. If you have Microsoft or a PC, it's Excel. Or if you just have a tablet, you can go and use Google Docs. But it's very simple. You just put in, in, in a row the crypto that you own, the holdings or how much you actually have, the price that it is today, which would be the value today, and what the all-time high is and the value at the all-time high. And real quick, I'm just going to fast forward this and just show you that this is what I have. Now, this isn't exactly my portfolio, but this is, I mean, not my holdings, but this is that makes up the majority of my portfolio, quite honestly. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, Chainlink, Polkadot, Near, Polygon, Stacks, Cardano, Algorand, and Dogecoin in no particular order. The holdings themselves, I may have more, I may have less. We'll just say that's true for today. And then, of course, I just fill in the price for today. And what's great about this is that, you know, I can, if I really wanted to depress myself, I could. The value today, it's very simple. And all these different spreadsheets do the same thing. You just use a, a quick little formula. All of them do it, use the same deal. You just press equal and then the price today. And then you just click on the price itself, uh, cl click on the asterisks and then your holdings and press enter and voila, there it is. And what's great about Google Docs that say, hey, do you want me to do this in autofill? Sure. And it'll just give you all the prices, which on a lot of you, you have it in your ledger. You have it in your Ellipal. You have it in, unfortunately, some of you have it on exchanges, but whatever. So you already know the value that is today. That's not important. Just something to, to, to show you if you have stuff all over the place like I do. This is where it gets fun. So Bitcoin, its all-time high was roughly $69,007. Depending on which different uh, exchanges you look at, Ethereum was 4,805 and on down the, down the line. Man, look at, remember these days? Let's just reminisce for a second, right? If we're going to dream, let's, let's remember the good days. Cardano at $3, Algorand at $2.10, Dogecoin, 71 cents. Nier was almost 20 bucks. Polkadot, 53, Chainlink, 52, Cosmos, 42, Solana, $212. Wow. So, you just fill in the all-time highs. You can find that on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, where you want to do. And then the same thing. You just come over here, equal, click on all-time high, asterisk, burp. And then I'm going to put in my holdings of 1.25, and then enter. 
It says suggested auto fill. I'm going to say no for now. So right now, if we we're back at the all time highs, I'd have $86,258. That's pretty good. And then on your other spreadsheets, if you just want to do this little trick like this, you can just take it here and hold it and then drag it down and uh, it'll just auto fill so you don't have to keep putting in the formula. So it's very simple. And then what I like about this is that when you're doing these things, you can look at this and go, okay, well today, my value today, if I just highlight all this stuff, the sum itself is 64,000, not too great. You know? I mean, I'll take it, it's not bad, but you know, I'd like it to be a little bit higher. So if we go to back to the all time high, which was in 2021, drag it here, 229,000. Well, now we're talking. That sounds pretty good. And when you look at this, you're like, that's great, Rob, but will all my cryptos go back to the all-time high? No, they won't. And this is where bearish Rob comes out because bearish Rob is the truth. And the truth is that they all won't come back. Some of them will just start sucking and they will not hit their all-time high again. And you'll be like, what happened? And that's why you don't put all your money into Dogecoin or whatever else, right? I mean, you could, but uh, you know, I can't tell you what to do about your debt. So. My favorite example, and we talked about this many times, I'm not gonna go over it to bore everybody, but it's a Dash Assault. Dash, if you don't remember, but in, on December 20th or 21st, 22nd, somewhere around 2017, Dash was over $1,000. I think it was almost $1,200. And then from that point to 2021, the high it got to was like around 200, 220, somewhere around there. Somebody correct me in the comment section. So you, on some of these, you will not get back to your all-time high. Now you can dollar cost average and still make, make up some money over time, but it's just kind of one of those things where you're like, on all these different things that you diversify into, you're not gonna come back to your all-time high and you're not gonna make these impressive gains. And then also, a dash of salt, remember salt? Well, salt went up to $17. And as of 2021, it had even cracked four cents. So just be aware that the things that you're investing into will not come back. However, some of the more solid projects actually will. And I will just remind everybody about this. Some people are kind of hesitant about this situation because they're like, but Rob, you don't understand because this time is different. And you know, the government's coming in and Gary's gonna shut everything down and it's gonna go to zero. Look, it could go to zero, but where I'm coming from in 2017, the government wasn't even talking about this. I think the government really could have done a better job of shutting things down. Now it's just way far in advanced. So we had that in 2017 and we still invested, worked out pretty well. Then we came into 2020 and then of course we had this huge pandemic come about and we're like, well, that'll never happen or that shouldn't happen. And that's, we're never gonna come back from that because this pandemic's gonna wipe out all the people. And that just worked out just fine. Then, I'll call, then everybody was saying, well, man, but this quantitative easing and quantitative tightening, they're printing, they're still printing uh, uh, again, just a little bit beforehand. So it doesn't matter, even though we've, we've done quantitative tightening now, and people always say, well, Bitcoin only goes up. Look, we've been doing some, a lot of quantitative tightening, not printing money since the beginning of this year and beforehand, and Bitcoin is up roughly 80% for this year. So look, I, I understand people's hesitations and reservations about that, but I am very bullish long-term just bearish near term. And that's just the truth of the situation. And then lastly, if you really want to have a real fun time when you're feeling really crappy, just do what I do. And that is just go to someplace and figure out a little DCA strategy or a DCA as Ben puts a DCA simulator. Let me put this in dark mode. There you go. It's nicer. So uh, there's a link in the description. You can check it out 10% off the first month, but Ben's got this pretty cool thing where you can do a DCA simulation. And it was only like the first like top 20 uh, cryptos. Now you put in like the top like 100 or something like that. And you can just put in things like, let's put in, I just put in Dogecoin. Let's say I put in $100 per week. I did it in 2018 to, to uh, 2021. And just Dogecoin, I know people make fun of it, but in all honesty, and we can see, actually you can see that if you just dollar cost average, you can do it pretty good. And you invested 17,600 as of May 10, 2021, for putting a hundred bucks since 2018, and you would have 3.2 million. Now, if you would have screwed up, like we all do, and just said, ah, I'm not gonna sell at the top, and you come all the way down to July 19th, 2021, you would invest at 18,000 and had a million dollars. Let's say you really screw up. And you're like, you know what? I'm holding on, I'm Dogecoin millionaire. 
you invested 20,400 and you know how much your, your return was 341,000. So again, there's a lot of things you can do to play with this and you can just see like, what is my favorite one? You know, let's say polka dot and you can put in how much you want to spend per week. You can put in 20 bucks a week and you can start on well, this one. Solana wasn't out in 2014, so that's probably why. Let's go to 20, well, 2020, 18 to now. And you can see that in all honesty, a lot of times when you DCA and just hold on for quite some time, you do pretty darn well. And that's just another thing that you can do just to look at things and go, am I doing the right thing? Well, DCA simulator in the past shows me that I could do very well. And having said that, past performance does not equal current results. So just be aware. That's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, if I give you a little bit of a boost today, give a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive and that is it for this one. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.